Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd of 2020. The question for you this morning is, do you truly know what the Lord has fashioned you to become? So many of Father's children are moving around today declaring they are this or that they are that. We live in a culture where we are taught that it's important we have a title or high position in order to become someone of significance. The truth of the matter is that there are only so many prophets and evangelists and even fewer apostles. And not all of us are called to hold an office as such. But we are all called to certain assignments of the Lord. And regardless of what we are called to do, even if it's the smallest or least recognized in the kingdom, Father God sees us and is pleased when we fulfill it to the best of our abilities. So today, this morning's prayer reminds us that when we are on the potter's wheel, the clay does not dictate what it will become. The potter does. Father, I come to you this morning and humble myself before you. All that really matters is that I gain entrance into your presence. Once in your presence, I am like clay in the hands of a skilled potter, being molded and shaped into something beautiful and useful. As long as I remain pliable, you can use me. And Father, when I become less pliable, You refresh me with water, and I become more easily workable. This is vital, for as long as I am pliable, Father, you will keep me on the potter's wheel and continue forming me into the vessel you need me to become. Yes, Father, we are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand, but as you work with us on the wheel, we may become marred in your hands. So then you will form us into another pot, shaping it as seems best by you. Even yet, if we become too difficult to work with, you will make us back into a lump of clay once again. At this point, you will remove us from the wheel and place us into a pot of water until we are completely permeated and pliable. O Father, as you set us on the potter's wheel, may we continue to be pliable in your hands. Continue to refresh us with the water of your word. As you shape us into that vessel you need us to become, may we be reminded that the clay does not tell the potter what it shall become. The potter is the ultimate authority. O Father, create us to be vessels of honor that hold righteousness peace, and joy as our precious cargo. Use us, Father, for the promotion of your kingdom. And regardless of our assignment, Father, may we fulfill it to the utmost of our abilities. It's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.